We need to feed the world. We need to feed the population. Yeah. And in America, the consumer is desiring this. Yeah. They're desiring quality. They, they're mm -hmm. demanding it, and mm -hmm. they're paying for it. The Segura family has a rich history of raising cattle on the Gulf Coast. I've been passionate about it all my life, and, and my mom and my dad always supported me in, in my cattle projects. And, and look, they're a big reason why I'm doing what I am today. Every day in that cow's life uh -huh. has got to be a great one. I know mean, yeah. To maximize yeah. what we do, That's she's right. got to stay happy. Sean Her takes pets. it to a different level. One time I, I was I like, take where, he came to a restaurant and said, man, it's so hot outside. And we were hanging out. He goes, man, I know I got to go home. I said, what I you going to do? He said, I'm going to put the sprinklers on the cow. I said, you going to sprinkle the cows today? Absolutely. He's like, yeah. we sprinkle take, the fats. You got to take yeah. care and, uh, of them, you know? So Commissioner Strain is, is coming visit us today. I, I met with him last fall, and he's he said, Sean, I want to go see what you guys are doing. Executive Chef Leighton Carbo is going to come here, and he's going to present a variety of the underutilized cuts, those cuts that the public really do not know anything about. We're going to cut something called a bavette steak today, which is the most tender part on the animal. This is a pretty unique cut, really unique cut, actually. Mm -hmm. So this comes from the loin. The strips on the outside, the tender loins on the inside. Mm -hmm. This comes from right, it's kind of tucked underneath the fillet. Okay. Underneath the tenderloin. And it kind of hangs down. Once again, it's not a working muscle, it just kind of holds stuff together. Mm -hmm. This is either ground meat or if the butcher really knows about it, he's taking this home to his family. They uh -huh. call it the butcher's cut. The, you, they yeah. don't sell this. This is the, this the, is the, butcher's little, cut. the yeah. little gold prize that you get home. So that what, the fact that we get the whole animal, we get to to utilize it all. So we're going to cut something called a Denver steak today, which is cut off the front shoulder. We're going to taste product today. This product was planned three years ago. That's how long it takes to bring the product to the table. Three years. So we got a big, beautiful Denver steak here. It's important to see, yes. you know, the grain, the grain, where you're cutting is very, very right. important. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of cut right across that grain. That's right. Wow. Look at that, huh? You know, once again, like, I mean, you just... Mm-hmm. There we there go. go. Yeah, we got to have some right? sampling uh -oh. here. That's, we got to sample. Y'all get work while I'm right. working. It's incredible. Mm. So most people, mm -hmm. this would be a chuck roast. This is buried mm -hmm. in chuck roast. So you mm -hmm. get it, but it's part of a chuck roast. But we're able to cut it as steaks. Just to be sure. <laughs> this is awesome, Leighton. Oh, yeah. Mm. We're going to uh, cut... Um, a ribeye, of course, and we're going to cut a New York strip, of course, and we're going to cut something else called a picanha. Now we're going the picanha, the okay. rump cap, right? That's right. Same thing. You see the grain. You want to kind of cut, a, cut, cut, a, across uh, cut across that grain. Mm -hmm. We're just going to do that. Each muscle group has a different level of flavor. Each muscle group has a different texture, a different tenderness. Once again, like perfect mid-rare, wow. medium all the way through. Same thing. You get that. You can actually see the marbling in that beef. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. You know, the cattle business is ingrained into my very being. You know, we are cattle farmers. I'm a large animal veterinarian. I'm also the commissioner of agriculture and forestry. So I feel very much at home here on the farm with these cows. To the left right here, are cattle that are ready to harvest. Uh huh. This is what we call a fat. We're going to go look at some young cattle. These are all first calf. First calvers, they'll be yep. calving starting in October. We market beef through two restaurants, Chef John Fulce, Revolution in New Orleans, and we market to Brandon Landry's Supper Club in Baton Rouge. Try that little piece with that little butter on it. That's right. You taste that. Mmm. See that little butter gives it That's that little good. extra kick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the American consumer is changing. They're saying, we want better quality, we want predictable quality, this is how you do it. You know, the cattle industry in Louisiana is more than a half a billion dollars. It's huge. And at any point in time, we have about 500,000 head in the state. It's a major part of our economy. It's also a major part of our culture. This is what makes Louisiana unique. Thank you very much for coming. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for you know, having we, us. We, uh, we love the way you get around the state and, and support us.